Ukrainian military intelligence spokesman Andriy Yusov believes that the Russian army's weakest point is the lack of modern weapons and equipment as well as problems with the manpower recruitment plan. He said this during the telethon. Such estimates are made on the basis of large losses in manpower and equipment in the Russian forces and means. They can replenish these losses, but there are already serious problems with the recruitment of new contract soldiers. And the aggressor state is coming up with new incentives at various levels to attract new cannon fodder. But this machine is starting to malfunction, Yusov said. According to him, the Russians also have issues with the plan to recruit manpower, which will definitely have an impact on the situation at the front. He believes that Russia's weakest point is the lack of modern means, weapons and equipment. Currently, Russia is focused on decommissioning and modernizing old Soviet weapons. But there are difficulties with the production of new equipment, in particular because of the sanctions policy. Access to modern electronic systems, optics, communication systems, the enemy still has significant problems with all this, Yusov noted. Recall that Russia's oil refineries are proving highly vulnerable to Ukrainian drone attacks and the domestic oil and gas sector faces a formidable challenge as Kyiv's ambitions and capability increase, industry and defense sources in and outside Russia have said. Some 16 Russian refineries have been hit, some multiple times, as well as the Ust-Luga condensate plant, numerous fuel depots and parts of Novorossiysk port. The drones used for such long-distance strikes differ from those on the battlefield and demonstrate some kind of good guidance system likely involving satellite technology or image recognition software, a long-standing Moscow-based defense analyst told S&P Global Commodity Insights requesting anonymity. The Ukrainians see what they're hitting and Russia does not have good ways of countering such attacks, the analyst said. The Ukrainians can easily produce more drones than Russia can produce defensive measures. The geography of these attacks is going to spread. Russian troops attacked columns of armored vehicles, a pack of motorbikes and 200 paratroopers. The enemy tried to break through on the Kurakov direction, but it was stopped by the fighters of the AFU's 79th Separate Paratrooper Assault Brigade, who are holding the defense in the southwestern part of Donetsk region. The brigade fighters reported about the course of one of the largest armored attacks by the Russians on their Facebook page. The message of the fighters appeared on the network in the evening of July the 24th. It is indicated that the Tavria Brigade repelled the largest attempt of the Russians to break through in the Kurakov direction. 57 armored vehicles went into battle, including 11 tanks, 45 armored vehicles, one Terminator tank support vehicle. This mass of vehicles was assisted by racers on 12 motorbikes and 200 Russian paratroopers, the Ukrainian military said. The Russians launched their attack in the morning and moved from several directions at once. At first, they were stopped on the distant approaches by artillery and mines. Then, FPV drones came into play. At a certain point, the assault stalled. The armored vehicles stopped and the paratroopers scattered to shelters in forested areas. However, drone operators found them there too, the Ukrainians summarized. As a result of the battle, our paratroopers hit six tanks and seven AFVs with infantry, burned all 12 motorbikes. The Russians suffered huge losses in manpower. 40 Russians destroyed another 37 wounded, reads the note of 79th Separate Paratrooper Assault Brigade. A video from the scene shows columns of Russian tanks moving straight across the fields. Five vehicles can be counted in one of them, the battle footage shows. Some of them were blown up by mines, some of them exploded after anti-tank weapon strikes, and some of them were blown up by FPV drones. Deep State's online battle map shows that the front line near Vuladar is changing on the northern flank. The distance from the battle line to Kharkov is about 12 kilometers. The report of the Ukrainian general staff as of the evening of July the 24th described the situation in the east. It is stated that during the day, the hottest situation was right near Kurakov. The Russians attacked 29 times. <laughs>